Welcome to the Tabs to Sage presentation. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'll be running you through a quick overview of the integration between Tabs and Sage. I'll follow this up with a demonstration and please feel free to email me with any questions that you may have or just call the direct dial number on 0800 311 2191. The current system from Tabs to Sage is a manual one. So you normally raise your sales invoices and purchase invoices in Tabs and then rekey them into Sage. The new integration module has a middle layer, Tabs to Sage, which is made up of three components, Workflow It, Sage Sync It, and Search It, which I'll come on to shortly. In order to do this, we have expanded the functionality of Tabs so that clients, buildings, and suppliers uh, are now also related to Sage legal entities as well as Sage customer codes and supplier codes. Categories have also been expanded to hold a default Sage nominal code. On the back of this, the sales invoices and purchase invoices then go through the tabs to Sage uh, middleware and in the workflow it, you can then capture comments against these particular documents and route them through this web-based application uh, to other members of your team, which you should see shortly. Sage Sync It then allows you to post these invoices automatically into Sage and change those codes uh, before it is actually imported into Sage if you need to. The Search It application allows you to find documents quickly and also view the images. And now for the demonstration of the Sage to Tabs to Sage integration, the system that's already been set up. And basically what I've got here is I've got a job HD5553. And on it, I've got uh, some materials, which is on a purchase order. And there it is, there's a purchase order for 10 sockets at £20 each, which have both been received and invoiced. The tabs application, I've also added some labor charges to it. Um, five hours at £75 and uh, the sockets at £200. I've also got Sage open with uh, a supplier list and and uh, customer list, which we'll go into shortly. So the first thing we need to do is workflow it. If I have a look at the workflow it tab, there aren't any transactions there. But if I go into tabs, first thing I'm going to do is actually raise a sales invoice. So I'll click on that button and it will now go through and raise the invoices accordingly. There we are. That's the invoice, invoice 294. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that as a PDF file. And that's it. So we've now got the sales ledger PDF sorted. So we can retrieve that a bit later. And uh, what I'll do is now import those into Sage. So the first thing I'll need to do is click on the upload button, which will then go and interrogate the workflow it database and compare it to the tabs database to see what hasn't been processed. On the workflow it tab, we now have two transactions, the purchase ledger invoice and the sales ledger invoice. And again, we can use the functionality within the application to view that particular invoice. So I'm going to click onto that view button now and it'll go and find the PDF for me, uh, which was raised earlier. There we are. That's invoice 294, uh, which is obviously functionality that's not available in Sage directly uh, or in tabs very easily. And uh, what I can do now is take the purchase ledger invoice, for example, and I can workflow that and say uh, please check coding for me and then I'll workflow that to Aura and that will now drop off and Aura can then log in as and when convenient and you can see that particular transaction is there and he can also then add comments to it or workflow it further or view it if he wanted to or he can just press the process button and that will be ready for processing. If I go to the workflow it tab again for all users and I can see the only one that now needs to be processed is the sales invoice. And again, I can select that. I can either process that or process all of them. So in this case, I'll just process that sales invoice. And basically, the, the um, inbox that needs to be um, reviewed has now emptied. And everything's sitting in the process tab. So these are all the invoices that we need to look at. And uh, what I can do is pick up any of these particular invoices. So for example, I've got one there for best electrical. I can uh, review that and I can then change the nominal code for it. So let's press four. Uh, that takes me to the sales accounts. If I press five, 
There you go, so it's a material purchase instance. I can then update that record. And you can see the account code here has now been changed to 5,000. In the same manner, I can change the sales ledger ones and change those to 4,000. Update that. And the same thing for the final one. I'll change that to 4,000. Uh, it's a different type of sale. It's material and labor, and I'll update that. So there we are. So these figures have now been changed, ready for import into Sage. And that's it. So that's the recoding carried out and completed. And what I can do now is just uh, go to Sync It and press Sync Records. What that will do is now take the information that I've just updated and we'll then ex export that into Sage, as you can see here. So we can now go and have a look at those particular transactions. So I'll flip over into Sage and go into Best Electrical and look at the activity on it. And if I go to the very bottom, There we are, that's the invoice that we just brought in to account 5,000 on purchase order 306. Similarly, if I go into the customer list and look at the IO center and look at the activity on it and go to the very bottom, we'll be able to see invoice 294, which is the one we've just processed earlier in tabs. Can to workflow it. And I can uh, have a look at search it. And that gives me a quick summary of all the invoices and all the transactions that have gone through. So for example, if I looked at uh, invoice 294, there it is. And I can view that as I did before. So this allows you quick access to um, both sales. And if you've already scanned your purchase ledger invoices, those can be done too. Um, and the is on the roadmap, we're looking at putting in other transactions such as expenses and timesheets, and that's work in progress currently. Well, uh, tabs to Sage presentation of interest. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, please very feel free to either email myself, ara at red-it.co.uk or Adrian Sopper at tabsfm.com. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.